Hello students, in today's data structure and algorithm lab, we are going to implement that first traversal of graph using adjacency matrix. So before doing the practical, let us understand the depth first traversal. So the idea behind depth first traversal is to follow a single path to its end, then backtrack. In this, one starts at the root node and explores as far as possible along each branch before backtracking. Root node is the node that is selected for the traversal. The depth first search we use in the search algorithm we are using stack data structure with maximum size that is equals to total number of vertices in the graph to implement DFS traversal of a graph. Steps to implement DFS traversal in step 1 we have to define a stack. The size of the stack is, should be equal to the total number of vertices in the graph. In step 2, we have to select any vertex. That vertex will act as a starting point for traversal. Visit that vertex and push it onto the stack. In step 3, visit any one of the adjacent vertice, vertex of the vertex which is at the top of the stack, which is not visited and push it onto the stack. In step 4, repeat step 3 until there is no new vertex to be visited from the vertex on top of the stack. In step 5, when there is no new vertex to be visited, then use backtracking and pop one vertex from the stack. In step 6, repeat steps 3, 4 and 5 until the stack becomes empty. In step 7, we use when a stack becomes empty, then produce final spanning tree by removing unused edges from the stack. So basically in DFS, we are using stack data structure and the process of backtracking. So in this example, we are taking a graph data structure that is having the nodes 0, 1, 2 and 3 as shown in the figure. The adjacency matrix corresponding to this graph data structure is as shown in the figure. Now implement the DFS algorithm using C programming language. We are we have to include the header files. The header file we have included is stdio.h. Now we have to take the data from the user, take the graph in the form of adjacency matrix. For this, we are taking a two-dimensional array A of size 20 cross 20, that is 20 rows and 20 columns. To implement depth first search, we have to take a stack data structure. For a stack, we are taking as of length 20. To, to keep track of all the visited nodes, we have to take an array data structure that is known as visited of length 20. Now n, n is the total number of vertices, i, j are the loop counters and top. Since we are taking the stack data structure, so top is Use top variable is used to keep track of the topmost element. You have to define DFS process name DFS to implement the depth for search. This function is taking one argument that is integer v, that is the starting vertex of our search algorithm. Now, program execution always starts with our main function. So, in main function, we are defined an integer data that is v that is the starting vertex of our search algorithm now we have to take the number total number of vertex from the user for this we are printing enter the number of vertices and scanning the total number of vertices in variable n now we have to take the adjacency matrix from the user since it is stored in a two dimensional array so we have started a loop for i is equals to 0 i is less than n i plus plus and second loop for j is equals to 0 j is less than n j plus plus and we are scanning the adjacency matrix from the user and put the data in our matrix a now take the starting address or starting vertex from the user for this purpose we are writing the statement scanner percent t and percent p now the starting vertex is stored in the variable p now uh, just initialize our stack and the visited array to zero so that it will not contain any garbage value now we all the input part of our algorithm is completed now call the function for processing the function here is dfs call the dfs function with 
the starting matrix starting vertex that is v now in our tfs function it is taking the vertex v as an argument that is integer v now in initiate a loop for i is equals to 0 i is less than n i plus plus in this loop we have to check if there is an any any entry in our matrix a a b of i then and also check the condition of not visited i that is the vertex should not be visited previously if the condition is satisfied then make the entry in our stack for making the entry in the stack we are writing the statement as then in the bracket plus plus top is equals to i after entered all the vertices in the stack we have to initiate a loop that initiate a condition if top is not equals to minus one that is we are having some entries in our stack data structure then visit it as of top is equals to one we have to set the variable as one and dfs again called our depth for search algorithm with a new variable a new vertex that is as of top minus minus this function will give you all the visited all the visited vertices after processing we have to print the old the reachable nodes for this we have to print the statement printf the reachable nodes are for this we have to initiate a loop for i is equals to 0 i is less than n i plus plus if visited of i if there is an entry in our uh, visited array then we have to print the value of that entry that is print of percent t i and this program will print all the vertices that is reach that is reachable from our node from our starting node so run the program starting with enter the number of vertices for number of vertices we are using four so we are writing here four enter the adjacency matrix the adjacency matrix corresponding to the entry is as shown we are having the adjacency matrix with 0 double 1 0 then 0 0 0 0 0 1 double 0 and 0 1 double 0 so we are writing the value of adjacency matrix here 0 double 1 0 then all are set to 0 And zero, one, double zero, and again zero, one, double zero. Enter the starting vertex. We are starting from vertex zero. So write vertex zero here, and we are waiting the reachable nodes are one and two. So that's all about the program C program to implement DFS algorithm.